This one sold on eBay for $16.99, I think free shipping, which I'm not going to do. And, oop, it just flipped right out of my hand. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm Cindy with Kraus House Sift and Thrift. Hope you're doing well. I had a great day. I was getting low on inventory. Well, maybe not that low, but the things I had in my profit piles were kind of boring. I got kind of tired of listings. So I went over to my wonderful thrift store just around the corner that I get amazing deals at all the time. And I spent $27, but I got like $500 worth of profit. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys. And please excuse me. Uh, I'm not wearing makeup today. Didn't wash my hair. Kind of grabbed this hat out of my inventory. Doesn't really fit me. But um, so this is me. <laughs> so let me start off by showing you what I got what I paid for it, and what I'm going to list it for and hope to sell it for. The first item is this wonderful Bugs Bunny, Tasmanian Devil, Looney Tunes, two-tiered dish. I actually, you guys, it's not broken. I just didn't screw it in very well. Isn't that beautiful? It's gold etched. It's like a porcelain or ceramic. It looks like a porcelain. And it's like a dessert tray or hors d'oeuvres tray. And they've had this at this thrift store for months. And I think they had it like $20, $25. I just don't want to. I didn't think the profit would be big enough on this. So I didn't get it. But today it was marked down to five bucks. So I got it. So tried to comp this out, couldn't find anything like it, which is a good and a bad thing. It's a bad thing because you don't know what the comps are, to what to price it at, but it's a good thing is you have the only one. So I could price this at a hundred bucks if I want. I'm gonna do a little more research. I think I'll take a peek, at, take a peek, a terror peek, and see what if I can find something on there. I'm gonna also Google Lens it. If you guys have not been doing Google Lens, I highly, highly suggest you use it because I actually go to Google Lens first a lot of times and I'll find what I want. And if I don't, then I try eBay. This is for items that you cannot find in your search when you type it in. So I just take a picture of it. I use Google Lens and eBay's um, search where you take a picture and sometimes I can't find it on either one of those so then I go to Terapeak and you know it comes down to instinct and experience and I think this is at least a $50 item if not more so I will be doing my research stay tuned the other thing you guys it came with the original box which is so amazing you always want the original box. Now, it did have a markdown price of $14. It was $27 to begin with, and they marked it down to $14. I took that off the tag, because I want to sell it for like $50. And look how vintage it is. I have no idea how old this is, but um, uh, gosh, 10, 20 years? And the box is kind of beat up, but that's okay. Still gonna be able to sell it. This was a great find. Look how cute this is. It says, here's to old friends. They know everything about you, but can't remember any of it. Isn't that cute? Two little grandmas drinking their wine, playing cards. Let me show you the other side. So, so cute. I saw this, I'm like, oh, that's a keeper. That's a good one. And sure enough, they sell for 25. Uh, on this one, I think it was one listed and four sold. So, yeah, that's a quick 25 bucks. $2 into 25 bucks, I'll take that any day. 
and it's by Biddy's, and it has the information on the bottom. So when you get um, experienced enough, you'll just start having an eye for things. Like I could look at figurines and know if they're cheap or if they're quality and gonna be worth something. I knew this immediately was gonna be worth something. You could just tell by the way it's made, by the markings on it, by the brand. And I am so happy to get this. All right, I picked up these two trays. They don't really go together, but I'm gonna sell them together. This one sold on eBay for $16.99, I think free shipping, which I'm not gonna do. And, oh, it just flipped right out of my hand. Let's see, it's uh, California Redwood Lumber. And it has like all uh, like facts in the back about the lumber. And it's got this really cool etching. It's got some nicks on it, some marks, but that's okay. The one that sold it too. And this one is handcrafted in the Philippines. And it has like a number on the back. And But these look like they go together, you guys. So they're like the same size. And um, so I'm just going to sell them as a set. Uh, probably list around 2025. Okay, I started looking at the shoes. I, I haven't really looked at the shoes too much at the store store. I don't know why. I think it's because I have a lot of shoes for sale already. And um, what I did, I'll have to show you guys sometimes my label system. I did labels on my shoes like sandals, heels, loafers, Oxford, sneakers. And all those bins are overflowing. <laughs> but you know what? I need to get back to shoes, especially high-end shoes like these boots. Aren't these cool? I knew immediately these were going to be worth something. They're leather. And they're beautiful. I mean, my gosh. And that's distressed intentionally. You could tell. They do have a couple of, you know, nicks. I did... Um, I did wash them. I couldn't get all the marks off, but the marks are pretty minor. I don't even know if you guys could see them. I passed up some shoes because they had heavy duty cleaning involved, like some Nikes. I didn't feel like cleaning them, but I'm going to go back and get them later because things stay at this thrift store. If you decide not to get it and you get it later, I'd say 10 times out of 10, it's always been there. Maybe nine out of 10. So aren't these gorgeous? These women's boots, beautiful. And so um, I believe these are 30 to 40. I comped them out. I looked up this brand. It says Prero Quero on the bottom. But there is a tag in here. I'm not a tag. It's, um, it's stamped onto the fabric. Camilla. And I can't, it says men. I'm hard time believing these are for men. I don't think that's right. Uh, 25 and a half men, 28 and a half USA. Wow. That's gotta be, I didn't know that no set until now, but there's no, we, these are men's boots. So I'll have to do a little more research, but I could get 30, 40 bucks out of those. All right. So saw these, I knew immediately they were Sorrell's because I've sold Sorrell's before and they have very, they're very distinguished looking. Yeah, there's other brands similar, but uh, I don't know if you guys could see the mark on the bottom. But they only have minor stains. I did wash these. And just so you guys know, I took my Folex and I squirted them on. And I took a rag, a damp rag, and I just scrubbed these. None of the stains or marks came out. But, you know, that's okay. It's all minor. So I paid five bucks for these. Oh, those other boots were three dollars. That's all. These are five. They had these marked up, but I'm gonna get an easy 30, 40 bucks out of these. I've already comped it out. The same pair sold for 30, but I might ask for more. Uh, winter's coming and people wear these. Sorrell's, if you don't know, is a very good bolo brand. So look out for those when you go out. So these are sitting on the shelf, and as soon as I saw the brand. Ugg, I grabbed them. I thought, hmm, I know Ugg's worth a lot, but they're for kids. Oh yeah, 50 bucks. 
This was an amazing find. They charge me two bucks because kids shoes are two bucks. And they do have a little bit of wear on them, like little marks. And I did try to clean these up as well. Uh, but that I got most of it out. And what's there is very um, minor. Nobody's going to care. It's just kind of cool to make. They look kind of worn in. So that's kind of nice. You got the lining, like typical UGG lining. And it said these are size 10, which seem kind of big to me, but kids size 10. So I was so, so happy to see that. You know, local thrift stores like this, they're not like Goodwill. These would have been 20 bucks at Goodwill. They are not out there to mark it up and to gouge you. They're there to, you know, make as much profit as they can. Now, I will say that this thrift store, which I always forget the name of it, I think it's commu Senior Community Store, something like that. It's just a local store. It's not a chain. They do have items in there for 50 bucks. Like they had these boots on the counter that were $50. And the lady was telling me, Vicki, she's the manager. She was telling me that, you know, somebody knows that the, some of the rubber was peeling off in the sole. So she was going to give it to him for half off. And, you know, I don't care that they mark up some things. I think they should. You know, I would much rather pay them or have someone else pay them then Goodwill. Sorry, Goodwill, but I want the money to go to my local thrift stores or, or the little guys, the local thrift stores all over the place. That's what I always recommend. Shop local first. Goodwill's great. Don't get me wrong. I've shopped there many, many times and I love it. But um, if I could do local, I will do it. So love these. Those are the shoes. And want to let you guys know that if you didn't know, brass is big. And these brass candlesticks, these were two bucks. I think they were a dollar, actually. Uh, I knew brass was big. I ha I didn't know about brass candlesticks. I know the big ones sell for big money. But these are the smaller ones. Oh, yeah, 30, 40 bucks. So I'm going to clean them up with my brass cleaner because they're pretty tarnished. Aren't they pretty? They're like leaves. So these are going to sell for sure. And especially with the holidays coming up, people like to put candles out. So, yep. Be looking for brass, especially candlesticks. This is not to sell. Just wanted to show you guys this little guy. Isn't he cute? Just a little fisherman. A little fish on the hook. We've got these... Um, bookcases, low bookcases downstairs that we got from Target and put together. And we like to kind of, we have like little shelf sitters at the end of them, but I thought I'd put this guy on that little shelf and he's got a little hook dangling. The only thing is, I think my cat might try to play with that. He plays with anything. Everything to my kitten Oliver is a toy. If you guys have kittens, you know what I'm talking about. Puppies are probably the same way. Like this scrap of whatever is on the floor and he starts playing with it it's like a piece of thread or or um that part off the milk cartons that like a little plastic piece you know now i find myself making toys for him <laughs> like i had this paper towel holder i just start ripping it apart for him he actually didn't think that was very exciting but um and then i had necklaces i was dangling at him but he's he's a lot of fun yes he's he's a lot of work too but we love him so that's my little guy. That's just for me. Then I just sold uh, this really pretty elf um, women's. It's kind of like a t-shirt, kind of like a three-quarter sleeves, and it had sparkles on it. And it was from Elf the movie. Just sold that for 15 bucks today. So, you know, I couldn't find any more of these. I would say 15 to 20 on this. It's exact designs, too. Those are good. That's a good brand. Um, I don't think I'm going to get a ton, but because people love Elf and it's near Christmas time, it's going to sell. So, oh, the, the mugs are like 50 cents. Oh. And I got a couple for me. One said Cindy on it, which I had to get. It said Cindy. <laughs> and the other one was like a Christian, a scripture mug. So, all right. I've sold one of these before, something similar. So I knew this was going to be a good find. And this was half off. So I think it was 50 cents. So, oh, look at this, you guys. It's 
It says, uh, happy 10th birthday, Lucy. Love Uncle Jim and Aunt Frankie. Is that cute? And then these are, I think it's just, I don't know if they're, um, oh, they're like songs and poems, I think. Really pretty. You know, people like fairies. So the funny thing is, like one sold for 10, another one sold for 30. So it's kind of all over the all over the place. So I'll see what I see when I research it. This is just, oh my gosh, this is 25 cents. It was half off 50 cents. And I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or not, but I might just put stuff in it. It's really cool. Somebody could put this on their table and put fruit in here, or they could put ornaments in here. And what I try and do on my listings Things like this, I try to give people ideas what to do. Like I'll say, you could put ornaments in here. You could put fruit. You could, you know, just kind of, hey, it doesn't hurt to give people ideas on how to use the product that you're trying to sell them. So like I said, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this or not, but because it was 25 cents, I said, wow. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. Isn't that neat? It's a light. Hammer 10. And ah, this wasn't a good spot for it. But I want to show you guys what it looked like turned on. See how it makes all the patterns? All right, so I'm going to unplug this. Here it is. When it's not plugged in, isn't that neat? It's got a different pattern and design on all sides. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's like a rooster. And this was like a, a dollar. And these Hammer 10 uh, lights, I couldn't find one exactly like this. But oh my gosh, they range from $20 to $100. Now, I think $100 ones are the vintage and they're the kind you hang from the ceiling. But I think I'm going to list this for $20 to $40. I'm going to do a little more research. Like I said, I couldn't find this exact one. There's the cord. You got the scroll on and off switch there. And so that was the last thing I got today. And I got to get listing. But I wanted to show you guys what you can buy and make a big profit. Well, I hope that gives you some ideas of what to be on the lookout for when you are out thrifting or yard sailing, that you don't have to spend much money to make a big profit. So keep an out, eye out for those things when you're out. And I hope you guys are having a great day. If you like this content, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up like this. Uh, ring the notification bell so you could be notified for future videos. If you want to send me a comment, I love comments and I do reply. And if you want to um, reach out to me via email, like if there's anything that you see on these videos that you want to buy, be happy to sell them to you. You can pay via PayPal and I'll give you a good price. My email address is kraushousesiftandthrift at gmail.com. So I will say goodbye for now and, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, you guys. <laughs>